Contrary to popular belief, many of the world's most successful billionaires have embraced and championed frugal habits. The act of preserving and strategically using resources, time, and money is not only the domain of the everyday person, but is often a foundational principle for the ultra-wealthy. Let's dive deep into the nuanced lessons these financial giants can offer. Number one, value over price. Warren Buffett, known as the Oracle of Omaha, hasn't moved from the house he bought in 1958 for $31,500. He exemplifies the principle that recognizing lasting value rather than short-term price is the key to long-term financial success. It's not about stinginess. It's about appreciating genuine worth. Number two, frugality isn't about deprivation. Elon Musk once challenged himself to survive on a budget of a dollar a day to understand the difference between essential needs and luxuries. Such practices are not about deprivation, but about distinguishing between genuine necessities and frivolities. Number three, use resources wisely. Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, emphasizes the importance of conserving energy. By turning off lights and being eco-conscious, he showcases that conscious consumption is a billionaire trait, not just an environmentalist concern. Number four, the power of compound interest. Carlos Slim highlights the significance of reinvesting returns. By allowing your profits to earn their own profits, the potential for growth isn't just linear, it's exponential. Number five, avoid lifestyle inflation. Despite amassing great wealth, Mark Zuckerberg opts for modesty in many aspects of his life, such as driving an average car. He's a testament to the idea that as your earnings increase, it isn't necessary for your expenditures to proportionally rise. Number six, time, the ultimate asset. Amazon's Jeff Bezos asserts that time is invaluable. A minute wasted is gone forever. This concept extends beyond the clock and into finances. If we're frugal with our time, our money-saving habits will naturally follow. Number seven, invest in learning. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Oprah Winfrey, a self-made billionaire, attributes her rise to the wisdom she's gained from countless books. Investing time and money into gaining knowledge always promises substantial returns. Number eight, the true cost of things. Energy magnate T. Boone Pickens would equate purchases to the hours he needed to work. This perspective provides clarity, helping prioritize spending on what truly matters. Number nine, stick to a budget. Even billionaires like Sarah Centrella advocate for the trad traditional budget. Having and adhering to a financial plan ensures you're not just earning, but also effectively managing your wealth. Number 10, the perils of debt. Oracle's Larry Ellison implores rising entrepreneurs to be wary of accumulating debt. Living below your means and avoiding unnecessary liabilities can lead to true financial freedom. Number 11, value relationships. Richard Branson, the mind behind the Virgin Group, underscores that true wealth isn't just money. It's the relationships we build. Sometimes wealth and relationships translates to financial wealth. Number 12, know when to splurge. There are occasions where spending more is wise. Warren Buffett, for instance, doesn't mind splurging on private jet travel. It's a reminder that frugality isn't about never spending, but about knowing when and where to do so. Number 13, expenses, V's, value. IKEA's Invar Kamprad, despite his empire, was famous for his frugality, choosing to fly economy and driving a modest car. He constantly weighed expenses against their true value. Number 14. Discipline is non-negotiable. Alibaba's Jack Ma speaks to the importance of discipline in both business and personal finances. Without self-control, even vast fortunes can be squandered. Number 15, money as a tool. Sheryl Sandberg, the COO of Facebook, reminds us that money is just a tool, 
not an end. Its real power lies in what it allows you to achieve, do, and give. Number 16. Humility in Wealth Indian business icon Azim Premji showcases the importance of humility, living a simple life despite his vast riches. Genuine satisfaction doesn't come from flaunting wealth, but from effective and meaningful use. Number 17. The Power of Reuse Steve Jobs, with his love for simplicity, not only integrated it into Apple products, but also practiced it personally. Reusing and recycling aren't just environmentally friendly, but financially smart. Number 18. Experiences over things. Sir James Dyson places a premium on experiences over material possessions. After all, experiences enrich our lives in ways things never can. Number 19. Financial Independence. Charlie Ergen teaches that the true measure of wealth is financial independence, not just having money. It's about making money work for you, not the other way around. Number 20. Continuous Adaptation. Google's Larry Page speaks about the dynamism in financial practices. As the world changes, so should our financial habits, aligning with evolving circumstances and new knowledge. Billionaire Wisdom teaches us that wealth is not just about acquiring money. It's about the principles, values, and habits we uphold. By internalizing and acting on these lessons, financial prosperity becomes an achievable goal for many, not just the few.